<laughs> okay, so what am I talking about this time? I'm talking about a game called World Sports Competition for Silver Graph 16. Yeah, I'll show you the logo right here. Doesn't look too bad. It actually represents all the events that you're competing in, like swimming, running, canoeing, uh, what the hell that guy's doing. <laughs> yep, and you can even shoot stuff. Yeah, it looks pretty exciting. Yeah, back in 1992, everybody was releasing their own sports games back then to capitalize on the Barcelona Olympics. And this one seems exciting at first. Here they got a cool stadium, intense music, and this is a full five-player game, so you could use your turbo tap. It looks like a game you want to play if you are into this sort of junk. <laughs> yeah! And you got 16-bit graphics here. Continue option. So you got a save feature and all, you can either go to the limpets, but I highly recommend you go to the training mode first. But look at this here, I just noticed an error. Well, actually there's a lot of errors in this game, but you go to the instruction manual, it doesn't help out much. It doesn't get the events by the right name, it doesn't tell you the controls. And yeah, it, they said excitement times five, yeah, five players can compete here, but you look up here, it's one to two players. Oh, this is a five-player game. They screwed up. They fucking screwed up big time. Now, where have I seen this before? Funny. This says it here, too. Yep, number of players, one to two, ages eight to adult, eight rounds. But it's a completely fucking different game. Shockman! Look at that! It's a different game! How do you screw that up? I don't get it. And then wonder why nobody's fucking playing these games and why I'm practically one of the few people in the world that actually reviewed this. Oh. oh God. Okay, I don't give a fuck about my name. Let me show you all the options you can use. <laughs> yep, you can just change your skin color, who fucking cares? And change your uniforms. But it's not really changing uniforms, it's just giving you a different color. That's basically it. <laughs> Not too many options, first day. To qualify, you had to do 11 seconds, holy shit. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not too different. 9 seconds, 11 seconds. I really gotta mash these buttons here, it's just like classic arcade track and field. God, time it just right, and mash away the buttons, yeah. As you can see, the computer is insanely fast. They don't let up. Okay, there we go. All right, I got a look. 11 seconds, 15. Yep, I think I qualified. I think. <laughs> Did I? Yeah, I qualified. All right, now I can do the long jump. Now you gotta do well in all these events here. If you fuck up in one of these events, if you get this qualified, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a great jump. Holy. <laughs> this small five, what the fuck? That's a great jump. Okay, let's see if I can do it again. You all saw that. How did I get disqualified? Okay, that's about the right crazy. Come on, come on. Okay, and hit up. Yeah, this time I'm not going to get disqualified. What? I didn't hit the line! Why did I get disqualified? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. <laughs> There's a translating error in this game. Each time you don't qualify for an event, it says that you are disqualified. Which is fucking bullshit! Oh. <laughs> and there, they rip off a sound from Victory Run. Now it's gonna show a little demo here saying, Yep, you fucked up. This is sports news. Doggy dog bullshit. Yep, you fucking suck, so you gotta start all fucking over. Yep, there, I qualified for a reverse event. Got DQ'd <laughs> all three of my runs here, so. Even though I hit the line correctly, sure. Okay, is it gonna take me back to the long jump? Nope. Oh, fuck that. See, I don't recommend you get this game because 
The Turbo Duo controllers are a thing of beauty, and that's why I'm using them right now. And when you're mashing away buttons like this, it's gonna wreck your fucking controller. I remember I had to buy a lot of these controllers when I was younger. I look at this old Nintendo controller. I can buy these at the store easily for five, like five dollars each. Dual controllers I got right now, I can't buy those for five bucks. I had to go to like fucking eBay or something, order them for like twenty bucks. <laughs> See, I can't be mashing buns on them all the time. Like you're forced to do in this game. <sighs> At least it'll let you train. And one fucking player. Ah, oh, I don't care about entering my stats here. Okay, you at least got 80 different events. Well, it's basically all the same where you're... These ones, you're just mashing buttons like crazy. There's five swim events. And still, you're mashing buttons like you're a maniac just trying to qualify. Or you're gonna get disqualified. Everything about this game just drives me nuts. At the shooting ones, it's very basic. But you really need to score so many points to qualify. And it doesn't even save your score unless you get a world record. So, unless you master these games perfectly, don't even bother fucking playing. Okay. <laughs> and basically you're just doing the same thing for two minutes just trying to shoot these boards and it gets fucking tedious. Got this lame music. Graphics are not too impressive for a turbo graphic. I mean, I'm already getting sick of it. Okay, World Sports Competition for Turbo Graphics 16. Maybe good for multiplayer action, but I don't know. I'm not gonna get too many friends that wanna play this. And I don't wanna mash them around my button, so fuck that. One player mode is fucking hard as hell. I don't recommend it at all. And voices are scratchy. Graphics are unimpressive. I give World Sports Competition here a 35 out of 100. If it wasn't so damn hard, maybe I would have liked it a bit better, but you had to you know, get practically a world record just to do anything exciting in here. And believe me, it's not worth it. Save your controllers! Don't ruin them! Please, don't play this game! This is Star Soldier, over and out.